Stephen now has the names for Reshka's husband, Tobias Lamb, and two of the children, Pavel and Lydia. But what happened to them? Stephen looks them up on the Yad Vashem website, which attempts to record the fate of those who perished in the Holocaust. Uh, last name Lamb, regular maiden name Neumann. It's just there, isn't it? Age of first child, 17, second child. Place of death, Auschwitz camp. So that's... My grandfather's sister, my mother's aunt, Reshke. She died in Auschwitz in 1944. I suppose I'd better look up the others. The name of the first child is Aliza, A-L-I-Z-A. -A. So that's the other girl. That's Aliza. Date of death, 44, Auschwitz. Camp. She was born in 1925, so she would have been 19 at Auschwitz. Christ knows. Livia Lamb, placed during wartime, Suthof Camp. And she was younger by two or three years, so she would have been 15 or 16. So, what about Pavel, Paul? He was Neumann again, male, born in 22. He was in Pakani Kamano. No reference to him dying. So he had to just disappear. And then there's Tobias. Married to Regina. Name of first child, Elisa, Lydia. Auschwitz. Oh, Auschwitz oh, again. Uh, it's very clear that um, Tobias and Regina died in Auschwitz. It's so stupid because I knew this. We all knew that they died, and at least believed it. But seeing their names there, I don't know. Word Auschwitz. It's just. It does something to you, I tell you. It's quite terrible. So close and yet, and yet absolutely miles away. My God, am I lucky. I cannot imagine who I would be if I lived the kind of life that would end up here. I just can't imagine. And you've been mitzvahed yet? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. When? A month ago. Oh, mazel tov. Me about eight, nine months ago. Oh, mazel tov to you also. Thanks. Fantastic. <laughs>